Now, lockdown's meant many of us have started using video calls to communicate, but a teenager from Harrogate emailed us here at Lung North to let us know why online learning is particularly challenging for him. 16-year-old Thomas has a stammer, and he wants other young people with speech difficulties to know they're not alone. As Sally Hurst now reports. 16-year-old Thomas has spent lockdown perfecting his basketball skills with his siblings and, like school students everywhere, getting to grips with online learning. I'm open to going to science, I do astrophysics or climate science. Uh, I really love the David Attenborough documentaries and Brian Cox, so they are a real, like, um, they are a real mentor for me. But his stammer makes communicating online difficult. The challenge I face with the video calls is the, um, the, um, the yeah. unmuting of the microphone, uh, the unmuting of, of my microphone with the coordination of my brain and my mouth to speak. Um, and also to make sure that people, I don't interrupt people. It's a common problem for children and young people with speech difficulties. So when the way we communicate suddenly changed when lockdown happened, um, we suddenly were only able to communicate on, on video and um, that's allowed us to stay in touch which is fantastic but it does present some challenges for people who have communication difficulties and one of those is the fact that it only relies on your face um, and sometimes only your voice and you lose a lot of the other ways we communicate using our, our bodies and our hands um, and so when you stammer the anxiety around that can be more difficult. I want every, uh, every boy and girl out there just to um, just to know that um, they are not alone and they can get help. For example, the charity Action for Stammering Children and also their, uh, like, their lo local um, speech and language therapists. I think Thomas is, is like many of the young people that I'm privileged to work with, is that he doesn't shy away from the difficulties that he faces. Actually, he manages to embrace them um, and and finds a way of working with them uh, and f very much finds his own style of working which I think is absolutely crucial. It is part of you um, and uh, you don't need to worry and you're joining a very special group of people who have succeeded um, greatly like for example Sir Winston Churchill and um, Ed Sheeran, Stormzy and Emily Blunt. Famous faces who've embraced their stammer and followed their passions just like Thomas. Sally Hurst, BBC Look North, Harrogate. And well done to Thomas for raising that particular issue.